said, oh yeah, movies that you're looking forward to this coming year. Listen, Taylor? The thing with that is the only movies we know about right now, like the movies that are going to be big at Oscar time this time next year, we haven't heard of yet. Right. <laughs> so you know, every, this is the usual suspects. Uh, really looking forward to last Harry Potter movie. That's that's prob- that's my most anticipated. You okay. Just just finished reading uh, the book Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. So. Oh, good, good. Spoiled the ending, and I like the book a lot better than than HP seven point one, whatever. We yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I want to see see what they do with that. That's my most. Yeah. Not that we uh, endorse witchcraft or. <laughs> yeah. No. I gotta, there. See, the sad thing is we could have said the same thing. We could have, uh, not that there's one, but a new Narnia movie, which has wizardry and stuff like that. We would Witchcraft have had to and magic. Yeah, well, yeah, but... And, and I, would, I would just like to argue um, that Harry Potter has, in my opinion, an equal amount of Christian imagery oh, as yeah. the Narnia books. Yeah, the ending, if, let's, if we want to go on that tangent, the ending of Harry Potter is full of Christian allegory. Yep. Really so too. If you if you look at some of J.K. Rowling's you know past writing, so. her Anglicanness, her Anglican, mm-hmm. Anglicanity. Siege. <laughs> what movie are you looking forward to? Well, I mean, it, it, the easy thing, if you know me, is is obviously I'm pretty excited about. There, there are a lot of superhero movies coming out this year, which I which I always get excited about. The the thing about this year is. There are some superhero movies coming out this year that break into some new ground of the genre. Um, two of two of Marvel's entries this year are they're exploring period films. Um, they're going to make a film set in the 1960s with X Men First Class, and then uh, the 1940s in World War II with uh, Captain America First Avenger. And seeing the trailers for both, both of them look. Really cool. Um, I didn't think there was any way they could make a cool-looking Captain America costume, but that junk's pretty cool. Um, uh, and so that'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm not surprised. And I'm then surprised on, sorry, what, I'm, go I'm, ahead. I'm not surprised Captain America looks cool. Thor looks like it's going to be absolutely terrible. <laughs> really? <laughs> not okay. Not anyone wanting to see that movie. Okay. So you're a, a fan of, of Thor, which I'm sure there are at least a half dozen out there. There, there are a lot of <laughs> Norwegians. <laughs> but it's like they, they're making a Thor movie only so everyone feels included when they make the Avengers. Next okay. Movie. It's like. Well, the thing is, I, I thought that about I thought that about Iron Man. I I really didn't think there'd be much of a crowd for Iron Man, but man, the, both of those movies cleaned up pretty well because they did well. They they made good movies out of them. They should have just made Robert Downey Jr. Thor also. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I'm really interested to see what happens with Green Lantern. I am. Um, it could be I'm really good this is, or really horrible. Yeah, because I've always this is been DC's. Really I've always been yeah, really DC's really opportunity good. to do something with without Batman or Superman. Like this is the first time they've tried it. In and I really like some of DC's other characters. Oh, yeah. I I like Green Lantern. Oh, yeah. I think it's a cool idea. I like the Flash. You know, uh, we'll see if we'll see if this one can work. I, you, I really like Ryan Reynolds. To their credit, they're really like Ryan Reynolds, so. date with Green Lantern. They're going the whole space Green Lantern core. I know. I was really yep. surprised that they're bringing the whole Green Lantern core into so, it with all the crazy looking. I thought they would avoid that, keep it earthbound. Yeah. Kind of Green Lantern diet. Like I, <laughs> I'm very interested to see it. I, like I said, I think it could be really entertaining. Yeah. It could be terrible, but either way, I'm going to be there probably. Yeah. I've got a feeling it's going to be somewhere just kind of... It's going to be like a 60 on the tomatoometer or something. It's not going to be great. Hmm. Maybe it won't be the best thing you've ever seen. All right. But at least next year, yep. we have Zack Snyder's Superman. Next year, 2013. The Man of Steel. Hoping. Man. Yes. Hoping. Superman. With, all sorts of... There, there is a Superman. We have a Superman now. We do. Yeah. He's British. He is British Batman. Hey, we we got a British Batman. We have a British Batman. We have an Australian Batman. We have an Australian Batman. No, Christian Bale's Welsh, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he was Welsh. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, they're getting we're British. working out pretty well on that. So we had an Australian Joker. We'll go with that. Oh, that's true. We did. We did. May he rest.
And a the British Misty. scarecrow. <laughs> Cillian Murphy's British? I think so. Anyway. I think he's Irish. I think he's Irish. Oh, well, that, yeah. he's, that's not British. Though. Killian, Mur- not British. Killian Murphy. I mean, oh, yeah, you know, come not, on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not, you pronounce it Killian? I think it is. Yeah, th- I think it is pronounced. I, I've heard it both ways. I don't know. Well, that's just Killian. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp. <laughs> All right. Well, we will. Th- this will probably air in a maybe three parts or so. Um, gotcha. Uh, this was. Th- I enjoyed though this though. This was fun. Yeah, it was. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think the video uh, errors might have been on my end because our wireless is. Well, ours kind of kicks out every <laughs> once in a while too, so it could have been my. Fault. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. I've enjoyed watching Jim in the background. Yeah, he looks yeah. like he's having a good time back there. I, I feel like for people who aren't interested in movies, then there'll, there'll at least be this little this little Easter egg right here. Yes, of that's right. Jim <laughs> that's you. That's yeah, that's right. You, you, Jim. <laughs> I know. All right. Well, for Taylor Cox, T.J. Cofield, Jim Cox, and myself, we'll wrap this up. We'll, um, Thank you, and we might do this video thing again. We'll never, we'll never, we will know eventually. We'll know, yeah. We'll find out. (laughs) All right.